I am Margaret Webb for Daily Extra, and today we have Olivia Chow, uh, Member of Parliament for Trinity Spadina, longtime city councillor from a few years ago, uh, spouse of the late Jack Layton, and the author of Olivia Chow, My Journey. And I just want to start out with two questions, and I have them right here. Oh, okay. And you get to Should choose. I pick one? Yes, you get uh, to pick one. I like this. You get to pick <coughs> which question you want to answer. Do you like to read the question or should I read it? You could read it. Why do you want to be mayor of Toronto? Yes, let's pick you the other pick question. One? Okay. It's probably the same. I can just see it. <laughs> Why do you want to be the mayor of Toronto? <laughs> How did I say that it was going to be the same? See, Rob Ford would never have guessed that it was the same question. So oh, now really? we're bringing oh, that's uh, the intelligence into the level of ah, discussion. Ah, that's why, right? <laughs> I should be the mayor of Toronto. That's right. But thank you. That's right. You're not going to answer that question? It's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed, actually. Uh, oh, it, really? <laughs> well, I think so. I think that you've really articulated a vision for Toronto. That, uh, And I'm kind of curious about how you're going to get that vision across when you jump into the race. Or if am I, I jump assuming, into am you're, I making, assuming too you're making much? a wild assumption. I'm making a wild assumption. You're making a wild assumption. You're here the in a community. You're here <coughs> in a community of uh, of very fond of Olivia Chow. You've done a lot for her community. I just wanted to know if you could maybe make an announcement here, right here at Extra. <laughs> Why not? All right. <laughs> <laughs> the here and now. That's right. But, you know, Toronto's hosting World Pride. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this summer. And uh, yes. but you know we have to suffer the humiliation of a mayor who uh, refuses to come to Gay Pride, refuses uh, to come to World Pride. Um, I guess my first question would be, what should the role of a mayor or a government leader be uh, in a situation? See, this is the thing about being old mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember back in the old days, mm -hmm. um, Art Eggleton was the mayor, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't declare Pride Day. So my late husband, Jack Layton, so that well, uh, if you don't do the decoration, I'll do the decoration, right? right? And the community the, the, uh, right. didn't suffer through it. They just say, oh, well, okay, all right, we'll just move on. And then when we had Barbara Hall, I was great, right? Yeah. She was yeah. such a friend. Yeah. And so um, mayors comes and goes, and um, the community is so strong. What I love, what I really want to do is mm -hmm. to make sure the trans rights bill that are being stuck in the Senate, mm. the House of Commons, the elected members of mm -hmm. Parliament, mm -hmm. myself included, voted twice now in favor of the trans right bill mm -hmm. and Senate now held it up. I want to make sure that bill passed before the Senate, mm -hmm. before World Pride. Mm. Um, because, you know, that's one component that we need to deal with. Well, tell us what the impact of that uh, passage of that bill will be. Oh, it will <coughs> protect people, uh, transgenders, trans, uh, mm -hmm. folks to, to make sure that um, they're not discriminated. Right. If they are, they're, they're protected by law. Mm -hmm. It's also a sense of pride. It's about equality mm -hmm. again. It's mm -hmm. about justice. Mm -hmm. um, why are we leaving them behind? Mm -hmm. Okay, We can't have pride if we have a brothers and sisters being left behind. It's a bit <coughs> very difficult for the gay community with um, Rob Ford in power um, because we've, you know, I th we feel like there's a rise of intolerance. Uh, there's a rise of hatred, um, homophobic remarks coming out of the mayor's mouth on record, on public record. And I'm wondering if you have any thoughts or where's that coming from or why is that seeming to be? I mean, because we're seeing it in Russia, we're seeing it in Arizona, we're seeing it in Africa. Uganda. Uganda. Like, I mean, yeah. it's, it's yeah, yeah. kind of scary. It's scary. And yeah. then when you see it happening in Toronto with her own mayor who won't attend World Pride, what, yeah. what's your feeling on that or where that's coming from? Um, maybe ignorance, fear, um, lack of experience with mm -hmm. the community, mm -hmm. or I, I, I don't. I, homophobia come in many forms. Mm -hmm. There are different people that have different mm -hmm. reasons why they're yeah. homophobic. What political representation should be at World Pride? Well, because be it's a World Pride, <laughs> our, the head of state yeah. should be there. Head of state right? should be so there. So the prime minister. The premier and the, the mayor, mayor, 
mayor should be there? <laughs> should they invite the mayor, though? And, you know, given where Rob Ford's come uh, uh, from and what he said and how he's refused to attend any Pride events, I mean, really, should they be inviting Rob Ford? I'll leave it to Kevin and his board of directors. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to the organizers. It's mm -hmm. up to the team. But um, absolutely head of states. But will we see Stephen Harper there? That I don't know. <laughs> We shall see. I think it's a good bet we'll see Kathleen win there. We might see John Baer there. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I've seen John Baer in okay. Pride. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That'd be exciting. Thank you, Olivia, for being on the show today. And uh, it was a great chat. And good luck in uh, all your future endeavors. Thank you. <laughs> it's great talking to you. Take care.